Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive Starseed Tamaro, your light worker. Back with another general read for the collective. Hopefully, you guys are doing well, blessed, and highly favored. Mwah, mwah. Thank you all to your to you for your like, shares, and subscribes, you guys. Thank you so so very much. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, this message will help you in some way. If not, hopefully, you're just here to enjoy the vibe. Your choice, okay? Gender can be fluid on this channel, so he can be a she, she can be a he. Flip the roles as you need to. This can be validation clarity for some of you. Past, present, moving forward, energy of the collective. Those around people from your past. Um... People they may be involved with at the in the past, now, and people, places, times, and events. Okay, so only take what resonates. Okay, you guys. Um, I do curse on this channel, so if you don't like profanity of any kind, please click off of me. I prefer you go to someone else. No love loss. Okay, I swear. Um. Make sure you're doing your return to senders and make sure you're calling your energy back from people, places, things that no longer serve your higher good, okay? So with that being said, we're just going to jump right into the read and get the message for you, okay, collective? First card out is all blockages have been removed. So that's a good start. So whatever blockages you may have had financially, emotionally, or with opportunities here that may you may have had um Delays with those blockages, those delays, you know, are being removed for you at this time. A man and a woman, okay? Next card out is, I wouldn't take me back either if I was you. Yeah, a woman. So at this time, all blockages are have been removed um, for you collective. So if it's anybody that may have been creating them, if it was something that you may have had some, just some unusual weight time in between whatever it is you're working on making changes or whatever changes you want to make those changes will be easier for you now at this time but somebody here from your past man or woman they are looking at things at as they wouldn't take them back either if it was you but this is just somebody that's taking accountability that's you know, 
looking at things if the shoe was on the other foot. Okay? Man or woman. But this is somebody that um is looking at thing in looking at things in fairness. With all fairness here. And I've said this, you know, countless times, you know, over the years, you know, we use scenarios like, you know, what would you do if it was you? You know, we can say all the time what we'll do, but until it actually happens to us, you know, we find ourselves doing something extremely and so far-fetched. It's so far from what we said we would do. We surprise our own self with our reaction. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you wouldn't want nobody to do this to you. You know, if it was you, you wouldn't want nobody to do this to you. So, this is the energy, you know, that I'm getting off this card to somebody here. They looking at things as if they had, if this was done to them, the things they've done to you, said about you thought about you or whatever, however they handled you, whatever, if it was done to them, you know, they'll be done with the person too. They wouldn't give them a second look either. That's what I'm getting. Let me just keep going. Somebody that's looking at things, you know, in a compassionate way, you know, having some compassion for what they did or how they've been. All right, so the card that fell on the floor, child, I was up already falling. Um, a distorted divine masculine. So it's a distorted masculine here. Probably some spell, uh, some field spell work here. Some spell work here on backfire. And this divine masculine here may have been part of something that um, involved their gifts. And somebody did something towards them. They may have tried to do a binding spell or something. Um, and this backfire. This person, whoever this feminine is, or this group of warlocks, or whatever this is, this was done in a group. This is a group uh, thing. This, this was a, some spell work here. That involved a group, whether it was a coven of women, whether it was a, you know, um, a group of just warlocks. But either way, somebody here in this group did some spell work on the divine masculine here, and it backfired, and it has... Either he was involved in this ritual, this spell that they were doing on someone or on some. In, okay. This masculine was part of some backfire spell work that somebody did, like as a binding spell. Somebody was trying to bind themselves or this masculine was trying to bind somebody to them. One way or the other, this backfire spell work that failed, it has left this divine masculine distorted. It has given them, you know, a way of thinking that um, it's unethical. And sometimes when it comes to spell work, some spells, you know, can be... Can be they can fail if the person is asking or doing something that's very unethical. It's unrealistic. It's not. And it depends on who you're doing it, you know, to. 
So, like I said, this what I'm getting off of this is somebody did a they were involved in like a, a damn binding spell here. Trying to bind themselves to someone for their energy, for their gifts, you know, combined with their some, you know, whatever it is that they are trying to accomplish with this binding spell or trying to keep this masculine with them, this divine masculine with them, or keep him from going towards somebody else um, for this abundance, for something that they are going to come into once they walk away, go toward whoever they're going toward is going to be um, like a healing thing for this this masculine. It's going to be something that's going to pick up and take off, you know, and it's going to change, you know, change things for not only this masculine, but for the feminine he going toward. Okay. Um, but this spell work that failed The outcome of this is this this distorted image that you know way of thinking that this this masculine got now or had. So now that this spell work has failed and this you know masculine has came, the masculine came off is what I'm hearing. So it wasn't meant for whatever the spell work was that was being done on this divine masculine. It wasn't meant for it to stick work or um, do anything more than what it did because it just allowed this masculine mask to come off and everybody else's too. It awakened him. It, you know, the illusions that, you know, this masculine wasn't aware of, he's aware of now. So that's the result of this failed, this failed spell work. At the time that this masculine, you walked away from this masculine, they were this they were distorted at that time. Because they were somebody was doing whoever they was with or around, they were doing some spell work that failed. And the results of it was the distort this distorted, you know, image mindset that this masculine had. And they were part of spells, you know, that either they were aware part of willingly, or the the spell that they were doing, they have done obsessively. They've been obsessive with it and it's has failed more than one time and over the attempts the amount of attempts it has gone through for this masculine to be part of it or for it to be done on him it has caused that masculine to be distorted well it caused them to be distorted and that's why this energy is out here of man or woman this masculine or this feminine they feel like they wouldn't take them back either if they was you they wouldn't because they they seeing what it is that they were trying to do not working but it it had more of an effect on them than they expected and it was a not only a a distortion that you know um Caused everybody's mask to come off to this masculine for him to see them, them to see him. It was the thing that it had to happen. It was time. It was time. And the, whoever they were doing this to is highly ranked in the spirit anyway. So by this masculine using his gifts for something or his gifts being attack you know repeatedly to cause some blockages here to keep this masculine from going toward a divine feminine here it caused this masculine to be distorted when they kept continue to excessively do this spell on this this binding spell i keep saying it's a binding it's a damn binding spell Child. 
but it involved some blockages being an issue, you know, from this. They may have been doing this to create some blockages, but they, they've been removed, you know, the minute this shit failed. They, they done this, you know, repeatedly to this Divine Masculine more than one time. And it's done backfire and, you know, that the mask, is, they mask is off. You know, it's not going to, you know, it may have worked in the past on this masculine. You know, when you were involved with this person, whoever, you know, he's around, whatever group he's part of, whatever you know, some of these other energies of women, men, he may be around. Whatever they may be up to, child, it done, they massa came off, you know, as far as them looking at things the way they should have in, you know, in the beginning. Um, but they see it now. I'm telling you, listen, I know what the hell I be talking about, bro. And it may seem like, you know, I spent, you know, way too long on this card. But that's the messages. Like, that's the energy. That's what I'm picking up on. And I'm just giving it to you the way it's coming to me. The way it's, the way I'm feeling it. The way I'm seeing it. And that's the way I'm saying it. And it's the next card out anyway. So... The spell work and the dark magic she did on me had me confused. I'm telling you, whoever this broad is, she do not want this divine masculine to go toward whoever he going toward because it's a divine being. It's a divine contract. It's a and this this feminine was probably trying to bind herself to this masculine to keep him from going toward. A real divine feminine. She may be trying to, you know, bring him to believe or, you know, center herself around him as a divine feminine, but she's not. He is not. And she probably made him think that this is the path she was on. This is who she is. This is how she is cut. And that is a whole lie. But she uses spell work to back up whatever she want him to think and see and feel about her. She uses spell work to do all that. And dark magic. It just done messed up this masculine's way of seeing things over a period of time. But they mask this distorted masculine being affected by this because the shit ain't working. It done made this masculine turn on her. Like, it done. The bind that she trying to get him to have toward her for this union. To make him feel like she's a high priestess or she's a this. It's not that. It's not that. And like I said, for her to use this masculine in that way to keep him from going towards somebody else or trying to get him to be part of the spell work, the dark magic, you know, um, was not something she was trying to do. It was the fact that she was trying to create blockages for not only this masculine, but for who he was going toward. Because she know once he get to this divine union and it comes together, it's going to be some blessings. It's going to be a celebration. It's going to be a fucking wrap. So at the end of the day, like I said, whatever you, whenever you walked away from this person, like y'all stop talking, or he ghosted you, bread country, with all that, this masculine was confused and they were meant to be that way because of the spell work that was constantly being done. The dark magic that was constantly being done with the moon cycles and all type of stuff. This feminine, like I said, she is either part of a uh, dark coven of witches. Or she does this in a group of just toxic ass family members, witches or whatever that this is what they into. This is what they into. And it's about, you know, keeping a man around and, you know, manipulating them for their gifts and anybody that they may come toward, they may come toward this masculine. 
You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this this broad want him to look at her as a divine feminine, but she's not. And that's okay. I mean, but if you got to use spell work to get somebody to, you know, be in a power couple, you know, a, a divine union with you, or you want this kind of divine union, you might need to get your ass on the right side of things and balance your shit out. So that way you can be on the right side of things. But getting everything, you know, in this dark, the money, you know, um, low vibrational ass way ain't going to get it. You're going to lose it doing that in the same energy that you're using, you know, to do this spell work. It's the same energy you're going to lose people in. You're going to lose yourself in. And that's what she done did. It's a person that goes toward this kind of stuff for answers, no matter what it is. When you take away people's free will, you know the divine finna step in. Can't keep manipulating that. Any more on the message for the card, please? Any more on this message for the card? Person baby had projected some insecurities onto you collective. But either way, they was confused. You know, whatever it is that they felt like, you know, was going on between you two, man or woman, is you know, it was projections, you know, of what they was already dealing with. For others of you, this this um this feminine she projected a lot of insecurities onto this masculine and that's what made her do the spell work the dark magic she was doing because she you know was dealing with some things that she don't know how to it, it consumes her whatever it is so she may have separation anxiety she may have you know she may just be one of them people that you know is a pygmy and they do whatever they feel like you know is doable either in the 3d or the 5d to, to keep somebody around because they very insecure they don't know how naturally to let something be because they so focused and so drawn to manipulating things and people to stay with them to be you know on their side to agree with them to work out for them that they don't like how naturally something ain't in their favor all the time and this makes this person very insecure man or woman but they project this shit on other folks Say this is spiritual. This is a this is a divine union that somebody attacking here is what this is. This person, this feminine may be somebody that's from a past life too that you know, um, does this when it comes to divine union she may specifically be known in past lives for having this vendetta against you know people that is divine when it comes to chosen one when it comes to um the gifts that come along with taking up you know your position you know your calling and being abundant and being blessed you know not just in the spirit but you know in a 3d2 for walking in your calling and being faithful and being you know the voice for the most high god you know in the best way you can the best way possible you know what i'm saying the, the best you can do your higher self 
can do, okay? But you could be, you know, in your sixth house, you could have life path six. You're, uh, be in your third house and have life path three. But somebody here um, could also be 33 years old. Um, they could also be, you know, a mason. You know, this could be somebody's, you know, ranking here um, in a group organization. Um, but that's the thing, you know, you can't, you know, use darkness, you know, on everybody. It's just not. Not go in well when you, you know, excessively doing this towards somebody that's spiritually high rank, you know, and have a contract. Is what I'm hearing. Oh, shit, if they married in the ethers, ain't shit you can do here in the spirit. They may manipulate something to mess up something for themselves, but for somebody else to do it, it's consequences. This person felt like you, you mind anyway. So whoever this person, this masculine, this divine masculine walking away from with them doing this binding spell that didn't fucking work, they coming towards you because they know you are theirs. And for others of you, this broad feel like, you know, this masculine belongs with her. Like, you know, she may have invested in him. She may have, you know, Felt like, you know, he, she deserved, you know, this, she deserved whatever this masculine provides to her. That's how she feel. That's for others of you. But for some of you, for the rest of you, these, this masculine feel like, you know, they still got a chance with you. Because they feel like, you know, you theirs. You know, they see, you know, what they need to see now. They couldn't, they was confused by, you know, who you were. This, this feminine was adamant and excessive. And she was standing on the fact that you wasn't who you say you were. You can't be that and doing things to manipulate how this masculine thought of you. How they looked at you. You know, every time they came towards you, every time they found out they was, you know, still in communication with you, or they picked up on this mask and still, you know, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, thinks of you, wants to, desires you in any way still. You know, the minute she found out that this masculine had some type, you had some type of effect on this masculine, and she noticed it when he, when she found out about you and him, you know. So he may have multiple partners. He may just have just this, this broad here. But what I'm getting is she noticed a change in him when it came to a particular female that she found out about. Because she noticed how he felt and how he spoke of you and how whenever he's around you and come back toward her, he is different, like in a good way. And not toward her. It's, he just <laughs> can't even. When he come back from around you, collective, he think different. It's like he see things clearly, and he may say things or behave a certain way as that's different from how he is toward her. Like he may treat, he may come at her in a certain way or question her about something or he may have made some comments about something that didn't come from her. He may have complimented something about somebody and she didn't know who he was actually talking about, but it was you. Like it's a way he speak or the way he some of the things that he says, makes points about, she know that came from somebody. It's like you awaken something in him whenever he around you. And when he get back around her, she can tell. And that's why she do this spell work, this dark magic, to keep him, you know, 
head over heels for her and, and only looking at her and complimenting her and, you know, bending over backwards for her. You know. But if you got to do spell work to make somebody, you know, dig you straight up and down like that, then you know that person ain't for you. You know, and you know you ain't made for that person. You got some work to do. But this instead of, people can tell you what your problem is to keep them from working on themselves. It's a, you know, it's just reverse psychology. That's what it is. But this person feel like they still got a chance with you. Man or woman, somebody here could be an introvert. Okay, you know you have you if you're an introvert, you know you need your extrovert too. They compliment each other. And somebody is really getting back what they dished out, to be honest. Hmm. They're getting their shit back. So whether it's this masculine, you know, the way he did things and he realized now, you know, he wouldn't take him back if he was you, you know, either. But this person, you know, whatever it's like between you and him, this is this person getting back what they dished out. You know, how they treated you, how they handled you, how they, you know, left you on red, how they, you know, took their time, you know, uh, getting back to you. Um, making you wonder, you know, what it was between you, if it was ever going to be anything or whatever the case, you know. They getting back what they dished out. That's just period. And they know that. That's why they in that energy, in this energy of, you know, they wouldn't take them back if they was you either. They wouldn't do it either. Because they know what they had done, what they have been able to sit back and look at from this, you know, confusion that they done been that done. Whatever done whatever caused this confusion for them, it allowed them now since his mask to be off to see what they need to see. And this person, they heartbroken at what they have done, how they treated you, and how they know, you know, this active this act this actions these actions that they took these thoughts that they had these projections that they you know projected onto you this person is heartbroken by this they heart is in bandages from the aches and pain this person it bothers them that they was like this towards you it does because they realize you know the person that you know, they've been putting on this pedestal, wanted, you know, them to feel the way, wanted them to treat you like this. They did things, you know, to put this masculine in a mindset of attacking you, of, you know, dismantling you, dishonoring you, just discrediting you, like just dissing you, period. And this person, know, you didn't deserve that. They know you ain't deserve that shit. When people do what they feel like they need to do, child. Because they want a certain outcome. And I want to naturally let something happen. This person wants you to just hear them out, collective. They do. But they... Not solely blaming, you know, everything on this confusion. This person just really is heartbroken by what they done. They just heartbroken not only by what they have done, but that they did that it, you know, it left you hurt in some way. That that it hurt your feelings. That it it messed up, you know. They the view you had of them. They know it has, but they feel like they still got a chance with you. For others of you, this broad feel like she still got a chance with this masculine. You know, and she ain't gonna stop using this divination because this is her go-to. And right now, these this this masculine and this broad that he you know, trying to walk away from that no longer serves him, you know. 
no longer serves his higher self, you know, this person, they blaming each other. Because they getting a lot of damn towels behind this. They getting towel after towel after towel. Blaming each other since we've been having towels. They've been they've been having towels, you know, when it comes to them trying to, you know, bounce back and, you know, get back to they whatever it is they do or they way of living and thinking and enjoying themselves and it ain't the same. Like they, they don't even look at each other the same no more now that without arguing or having some type of spiteful uh derogatory comments, you know, responses toward each other being short, you know, just having an attitude toward each other now. You know, almost everything they say or respond to, you know, it got some type of um animosity behind it. Especially from this mansion. Like he living in what he say, um, his affection toward her, like it's, you know, then took a turn, and it's causing this feminine to act out anyway. If she really, you know, hot, she she really quick to anger anyway. She real toxic, very. I'm telling you this this divine mask mate they closing out a cycle with her and she don't like it that's why she was you know doing this binding spell that she was doing because all the dark magic she was doing and spell work she was doing to keep this masculine compliment her you know looking at her as this beautiful person you my divine masculine, my divine feminine, you know, you mine, you ain't, you know, you ain't finna go over there and be with her, and, uh, you know, she lying about who she is, what she might dream about, or what she said, you know, to you, she just made that up, she, you know, she doing stuff to you, she may have even told this divine masculine that you were doing divination on him, for him to feel the way he do or to want to go toward you like he do or to, you know, deny his feeling for you. She feel like, you know, I'm doing this spell work basically because I know you feel something for her. Yeah, I can tell you do. I heard it, you know, in your voice. Like she picked up on it and he may have had people tell her, you know, about you on the low, you know, and they may have revealed, you know, his actions towards you, his affection towards you whenever they done been around you guys when he wasn't around her. So at the end of the day, he either was married to her, this could be his baby mom, it could just be somebody he just been in a off and on long term situation with relationship with. Um but this divine masculine he they she did this because he was closing out a karmic cycle with her. She I mean he got what he got the lesson. He got the message, you know, that he needed to get, and he got the message from who he needed to get it from, because his spirit team and the Most High God, they made sure that this masculine seen what he needed to see. That's why this shit backfired, you know, because it was time for him to see it. It's time for him to get out of the cycle. He stayed too long, went too far, you know. Eric can be significant to this read. She's taking money for his account, too. The minute she felt like he was going to leave her or the fact that she even got with him knowing um, over a course of time he got involved with somebody else, was, you know, seeing somebody else or had feelings for somebody else. 
the minute she picked up on that and he shared this with her, this may be a, a The minute she picked up on him, you know, having these feelings for somebody else that was not like how he was with her or when how he was with her, you know, he's like this, you know, towards somebody else and, you know, just at a higher degree and she didn't like that. But at the end of the day, this person um, been taking money from him. So she may have been saying she need money for this or that and. Or he's been telling her to go in the account and pay for this. He may trust her, you know, going to his account. But she's been taking money over a course of time, you know, um, uh, extra hundred here. Or just telling him she need to get something done. Or something that came up and they charging her this or that. And he let her get it. But she putting it in another account that she got. Um... Uh, to, you know, that she collecting off of. She using that account, you know, when she take from him. So, over this course of time, she been taking money from him. Putting it in her account. You know, it's like saving money for a rainy day. Because she knew this time was coming. Her mama may even had instructed her to do this shit, too. So, her mom may be helping her out with this spell work, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, she ain't... It's a group of motherfuckers doing this. It's it's a succumbing of dark witches. So, it's either, you know, some family members, friends, both, or is she in a dark covenant. She part of one, whether he know it or not. They may go to the church together, stuff like that. They might be, you know, just avid church goers, you know, at some point, at some point. But she she not doing this dark magic and this spell work by herself. She may have started out doing it too by, by doing it by herself, but she is doing this with somebody else too because the energy is uh, it's coming from more than one person. So it's either like her and her mom, or her and you know another group of you know low vibrational witches, dark witches. So it's probably a coven here. Who is this taking his money? at the bottom of the deck in the upright but the two cards that came out like right off the bat is this king of swords in reverse and the lovers in reverse both of them gemini energy so it could you know could be a gemini or it could be gemini could be highly aspected in you or your past person's chart and a woman but they came out in reverse But um, but it's like I said, this uh, this blame game that they using, you know, they point fingers at each other now because they're getting a lot of towels. And with this um, King of Swords energy in reverse, it's a lot of. It's definitely some sharp tongues, some some you know some stuff being said. Like I said, they they can't really talk to each other without some causing an argument, some being said that's spiteful. It's meant to hurt the other person's feelings because it's the truth. So, however, this this, this divine masculine being distorted the way he was, confused when that mask came off, this person was like livid. Like they may have been real watchful of their words when they talk to this this female and she may be flipping them out too so right now it's just like two bulls in a pen 
You know what I'm saying? And they saying stuff that is meant to inflict some some hurt, you know, um, feeling-wise, emotionally. They saying things out of emotion that is really cutting the other person deep and the other person deeper. So it's just something that's going back and forth with this uh, King of Swords, Gemini energy. Um, with it being in reverse, it just indicates fickleness, using words as swords to wound, gossiping. Um, playing one person against the other. <sighs> That's just some um, of the King of Swords, man. But this love is in reverse. Whatever they trying to do to prevent something from um, coming together is the fact that it's got to be a mutual uh, thing here. So it means somebody wanted the other one don't. And they not willing to cooperate with the other person to be in this lover's energy with them. So whatever she trying to do with this binding spell, that shit is not going to fucking work because this person don't want to. Now that this mask is off and, you know, this spell work doesn't cause so much confusion, this masculine don't. That's the that's the part. That's the karma that she get from doing this shit is this person. They know for certain they don't want to be with her. The way they wanted, the way they was thinking, because now they know it was something that they was doing that was not genuine. And it was causing this masculine to think that they were. They put them on this pedestal. They bragged about them. They showed them off. They, you know, um, you know, they just thought this, this person was the cream of the crop until they realized this person made them look like a fool. Made a fool out of them. And they don't like that. Because they feel like, you know, they should have known better. They know better than this. You know. And they feel like you did something. You saying this person did something. When you really, you know, it been you. So this person been paying, you know, blaming, you know, trying to turn this person against you to keep you from, you know, going toward them, them going toward you. And they have been, you know, she been using this scenario against him countless times like she been relentless when it comes to her trying to make you out to be the person that he ought to be attacking not her you know i'm 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 not i know who i am and you know this person doing this and doing that to you and you you know doing this to me because of something they're doing so it's like she trying to turn this person against you every time they get an argument or you know the fact that you is even in this part of you know, this argument, the fact that this masculine want to come towards you still, it bothers her to the point where she feel like, you know, she'll say anything to keep this man from coming your way. Anything. And I mean anything, even if it ain't true. So that's why it's a lot of gossiping that's being brought up that she just saying things because she want to see him, you know, talking shit like he normally was doing about you and you know, saying things about you that she didn't know about you. You know, she would say things to get things out of him. And to make him turn on you to say things about you that she didn't know. So it's like, I want, it's like reverse psychology. You want, you know, to know something, you know, you compare yourself to that person in a positive way so they could come back to you and tell you the difference. So they can respond like, no, y'all ain't different at all. She, so it's like that, you know, it's like, well, we basically, we the same, you know, we mirror each other. We the same. I don't see how, you know, you don't see, you know, what's going on. You know, she's sitting here trying to duplicate who I am, copycat who I am. 
you know, when I'm the real deal and she got you thinking this, blah, blah. This is, this is what she doing currently still. It's trying to play this man, you know, against you and you against, you know, this man when it come to, you know, who gonna, who, who he going towards. But either way, this man is walking away. He is. And he ended out this karmic ass cycle with her because it was something that this man done dealt with with her over a course of time. Anyway, they keep end up being back involved with each other, saying that it's gonna be different, and it ain't. It ain't. It hasn't. And he's seen that. And this is what's pissing him off is that, you know, he took this chance with her, thinking that you know it's gonna be better. She gonna do better. She, you know, gonna handle, you know, being with him differently than they did before. But, shit, this person may even have put this masculine out at one time, you know, over something that they was doing too. You know, when they, by the time the shit hit the fan, but still, this person went back. They still got some old habits, some old ways, because they toxic as hell. This this is they listen with this broad. Jim and I could be, you know, in either one of them, either one of you guys' chart or um, the, or the person they dealing with could be a Gemini, or it could be highly expected in their chart. Big marriage and separation, living the damn lying away. And you may not feel safe around this person anymore, collective. You know, this person may have, you know. Been somebody when you first met them that, you know, allowed you to be in this safe space, you know, that you, you know, you felt like this person was genuine. You felt like this person, you know, had good intentions for you that they, you know, you trusted them with your heart. And now you don't feel safe around them anymore. You know. You may have been shown, you know, some things about this masculine that just left you feeling like they, you know, put you in some situations that just shouldn't have, you know, been, you know, this is something that, some things they could have prevented that they didn't. And it left you feeling, you know, unsafe around them. It may have been an uh, event. It may have been uh, a time when you guys were out together and something popped off or something happened and it was it left you in a very unsafe place and this person left you there they they may have felt like you know they should have stayed they should have you know been a lot more concerned they should have you know showed a lot more should have showed some concern some compassion you know they should have made different choices at that time but they didn't and it left you in a place where you don't feel safe around them anymore. And you may feel like they could have prevented whatever this was. Whatever this situation was, whatever popped off. This Ever since that situation, ever since that incident with this masculine, you don't, you don't feel, like, safe with them anymore. Like, this person could probably even come around and want to take you out somewhere and you're not going to want to go. Because something may happen and you end up stranded somewhere. And that's probably what this is. This person left you hanging somewhere during a situation, during a time. And this person, let, they may have supposed to come through and like just comforted you or, you know, waited this out with you or um, kept you company. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this person, they didn't. And ever since that since that situation, that incident, you have not felt safe around this person anymore. So they may not be able to even invite you to something now without you second guessing it. But how nonetheless, this is a past involvement. Don't have to be a relationship. It may not have gotten to that point for some of you, for others of you it did. But it was something that um it's going to be returning from the dead. It's definitely going to do that. But some things had to be put in motion here because somebody needed um, to see things clearly. That something, some the mask need to come off. So a 
Because if it's no trust, it's no truth. If this person can't come back to you, you know, um, with no trust and no truth, it ain't going to be nothing. It ain't. It just ain't going to be nothing. It could be um, got Gemini out here too, but it could also be any water sign. Could be significant to this read. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, man or woman. So it, it could be any water sign, whether it's you, your past person, or anybody they may be involved with at this time or then. That may be significant to this read, so it could be um, highly aspected in either one of you guys' chart. Um, I mean, you could be a water sign, your past person could be a water sign, or it could be, one of these could be highly aspected in that chart. Um, or some, you know, the person they were involved with, the people around them that's in this reading here. But where there's no trust, is no truth. So, the person going to have to, you know, be both when it came, comes to you. Because before this person, you know, um, ruined that. They ruined this trust, you know, with you because of some lies they told. They did. They told some lies. And the person they was involved with. You know, told some lies and they weren't truthful either. But nonetheless, this person had to come. They got they had to walk away from this karmic cycle. It was something that had it was a part of the assignment. And the Most High God is not going to allow you to sit in a karmic cycle without you seeing everything you need to see. And this, you know, when somebody uses spell work and dark magic to manipulate your free will. You know, and this is on a divine union. You know the divine finna step in and reveal all your shit. So it's best you reveal your shit yourself. If you know you ain't, you know, this, you got to do all this to keep somebody with you and keep them from seeing something realistically, naturally, then you know damn well the most high God going to come for you. I don't give a damn what demon you call on. It just, it ain't going to matter. Because he not, he going to make sure this person see you for who you are and what you are. So this this master may not have known she was a dark witch. He may not know she deal in divination. But he eventually going to find out if he haven't. And it's going to make this man walk away because he don't want to deal with, you know, her being around the folks she around and him not knowing if they part of this. So where there's no trust, there's no truth straight like that. Charles can be significant to this read. This person going to be risking it all for love. It came out before in another read, but nonetheless, apparently somebody's energy is still being picked up on from looking at my readings or whatever, so hopefully this union go ahead and come together and, you know, this person do right by this, this feminine or this feminine do right by this masculine because Child, somebody need to just be straight up and down or leave motherfuckers alone. Straight like that. Be a Virgo feminine can be significant to this read. Somebody want to show you some real love, divine feminine. They may not have showed, you know, they true, you know, how they how much they truly love you. When they were involved with you, when you, you know, took up some time with this masculine, but they want to show you the real them, you know. And somebody doing some drunk truth telling. Somebody doing some some drunk truth telling. Somebody gonna somebody gonna be drunk and they gonna just. Or they did this shit. And they got drunk, hanging out, talking shit. And somebody said something, popping off, talking off, running off at the mouth and said something. 
And that shit went from them. And with the blaming each other for these towels, blaming each other for what doesn't popped off in their life, what, you know, bad things and, you know, what should have worked out before it was working out, ain't working out now because they done did this now. You've been like that. You mess around with so-and-so, messed that up for me. You done went and said this and got drunk the last time and said that. Now so-and-so don't want to fool with me, this and that. He think it all this. Somebody just drunk and they just truth telling their ass off. So, man or woman, but I'm getting this a masculine. This somebody that got drunk and just told the truth. It could be a feminine too, just done said some shit that they would have never said sober and probably been keeping it a secret for a good some time. But that shit came out when they went to drinking. And it was meant to. It was divinely guided too. <laughs> for sure. For sure, you're not going to tell me, but the most high God ain't got no control of. He get the last say. I don't give a damn if you're drunk or sober. I don't give a damn. When the, when when he step in, it ain't no resisting. It just ain't. You can't resist it. You know, he'll use a sinner just as well as he'll use somebody, you know, that's his favorite. You know, because a message is a message. It don't matter who bring it. <laughs> it don't matter what time of the day you get it. It don't matter how it come. If it come drunk, if it comes sober, that message coming out. All right? Somebody <laughs> drunk, truth telling child. When they may be drunk, when they come towards you, when they, they tell you how they feel, how they, you know, how it's been for them, you know, what's been going on. This person may do it over drinks, you know, and they may just go on and spill their fucking goods. Like, cause this, it, it done bothered them so long, you know, knowing that they been like this towards you that they, they can't even deal with the thought of what all they done done that was just unnecessary. The only way they can deal with it is drinking. Cause they going through an ego death. The ego, you know, child. <sighs> Person, ego, dev, drunk, texting. I'm telling you, child, this is not a game. This is not a game. Think it's a game when it ain't. This person is drunk, texting, drunk, truth telling. It's some drinking going on. Okay? Now, they may drink, they may sip, but this person does it now to just be in a state of mind where they don't give a fuck. They don't. But this person being spiritually guided. Because this was a snail pace breakup. The end this karmic cycle. This masculine, it was taking them some time to do it. it then they went at a snail pace to do it. And it was, they was divinely guided to get the hell on up out of here. They was. But because they was moving at a snail damn pace. Taking their time. You know, trying not to step on nobody's toes. And trying not to, you know, draw attention to you collective. Because they didn't want her trying to come towards you before they come towards you. All that right there. And somebody at this time is... It, some law officials done got involved here somewhere somehow somewhere some law officials um is part of this reading somehow somewhere Somebody may end up being pulled over for a DUI or something with this drinking. Or somebody may end up calling the you know, police on somebody here because of, you know, an altercation or, you know, some threat, some word swapping here, some battle of the tongues or something. But somebody is going to end up calling, getting some law officials involved. They're going to end up calling some police on somebody here. Because they're going to do all they can to keep this masculine from this divine masculine from coming towards you now. Because if they can't have them, nobody else. And, and the thing is, this masculine 
put this person on the pedestal and this is the person that's really playing in their emotions, playing on their top now, playing in their damn face. And this person may, you know, just even find out this this bra had been taken from him. But he probably gonna press charges on her. He probably, you know, letting her know that, or he just going about, you know, uh, handling what she done. What he realized now that he need to look more deeper into. So he may have looked at all the things he didn't this this woman access to. That. He over he going back he backtracking now looking back through you know stuff and looking over things now like damn man I, I let her do this I ain't gonna tell what she you know I'm telling you Archangel o Orion is out here. And this archangel is perfect for those who desire power and strength in their lives, always ready to protect and defend strength and guidance to overcome any adversity. So any adversity that you feel like you may be embarking on, you know, when it comes to things you may feel that you need to defend yourself against towards people, um, situations and you just need that power you need you know that um the fruits of the spirit you know in your life to be able to get through whatever this is and be guided in the right way to overcome whatever adversity it is whatever this is this adversity is whatever you're dealing with and this is the archangel you call on you know for that you know protection you know that defense that you need you know somebody to come to you need somebody to come to your defense is him this archangel Orion. so definitely look this archangel up um to get more clarity to get more information so that way you'll know exactly what archangel is uh beneficial to whatever needs you have in the spirit and in the 3d you know what I'm saying? So that way you can have that divine, you know, protection along with the guidance, you know, of your um, angelic angels that are there to assist you with whatever it is you're dealing with. You don't have to deal with nothing alone. If you know the Most High God, if you know the Lord, you know you ain't got to deal with nothing alone. You're never alone. All you got to do is ask. That's all you have to do, be genuine. But that's why I tell you to always, always think of others first. Don't don't become a selfish, you know, um, spiritual person. You know, it just don't fit. You're going to have to balance things out to where your heart is open to help those that are less fortunate, those that, you know, don't ask for it, but you know you're able to do it. You do it from a space where you know down the line when you're going through these adversities, no matter when you going through them or when they might pop off, you're going to want their support. You're going to want somebody at your defense and calling on some help to come help you when you never helped anybody else. Come on now. You know, you got to be balanced. You got to be fair. Not selfish, but you got to be fair, especially when you call it on the Most High God and any and anything connected to Him. It's like asking God to step on the the folks that you know is going through the same thing you're going through just to help you, just to help you. And you ain't did shit for nobody, and don't want to. Not without a hidden agenda. So that's what I'm saying. It's got to come from a heart space. It's it's the thing of you know surprising yourself by helping somebody else. Heal yourself by helping somebody else. Don't just sit in misery, you know, and hurt other people, you know, because you failed to get something right because it involved, you know, a random person or somebody you just envious of because they get through their problems a lot better and a lot faster and, uh, you know what I'm saying, a lot more openly than you do. You know what I'm saying? But this is the archangel you call on, you know, when you're going through those adversities. And you need that guidance. You need that, that strength. 
catch up the fans. You know, you gonna show up. You gonna show up. But some laws gonna be called here when it comes to, you know, all this bickering back and forth and trying to create a situation where the police get involved for somebody to get locked up. But I believe this masculine is going to try to take some legal action toward her with this taken from him as far as his money. This person appetite ain't the same since you, you know, walked away. I'm talking about you MIA to this person. This person ain't heard from you. They might have normally would in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but not now. Because you in your north node, and this person feel like they need closure. You know, if it's going to, you know, be no more of them. And this this broad may, you know, keep knocking at this, this, this masculine's heart, you know, to keep making him think that she need closure, but... She need to close her mouth because it doesn't already put her in a situation where this man ain't going to do nothing but use what she say against her and it's going to start an argument. And before you know it, it's going to be something she going to use to call the police on him about. And she may even try to put her hands on this masculine, but some law officials going to get involved. Like I said, do your return to senders because if she's sending something to him, she damn sure going to send something to the collective. To try to keep this person from coming towards you, from, you know, giving a damn about you. Because they was used to this masculine being in this toxic energy mindset, nature, when they was with them. And talking shit about you, you know. But this person just really waiting on you to get them the green light. And when you get them that green light, it could be any damn, anything green. This person going to haul ass. Cause they, either way, they leaving this this broad. They be, they leaving all this behind. You know, they may have looked at their options and weighed they the pros and cons of being with this broad. If they was to leave, if, you know, and with them staying, and this person don't give a damn now. They and this broad know it too. But she gonna she gonna try to get these some some police involved because she don't want this man walking away from her. She ain't one of the people that people walk away from. This somebody be thinking that they they shit is gold. Like my pussy is gold. Like I'm I'm good. I got money. I got this. I look good. I'm this. Everybody wanna you know be with me. This and that. This person ain't looking at this mask. I'm walking away from her. That this is not part of her reputation. At, at least that's what she you know trying to handle it like that. But this person is this person. They just waiting on you to get them the green light. I swear. Hmm. They want you to unblock them. Full lips can be significant, man or woman. So somebody with full lips can be significant to this read. I'm getting this. This is this is a couple. Okay. You and your past person both are known for your full lips. Okay? That's what that's what I'm saying. Now, this person that they walked away from you from or was over here in the relationship with, they just living like they single. This ain't that person. This is somebody you walked away from or you ghosted or, you know, you guys parted or whatever. Both of y'all got full lips is what I'm saying. Okay. But that just make up half of, you know, the melanin population anyway, right? <laughs> but I'm just saying top and bottom. They got full lips, not a lip. I'm saying full lips, top and bottom. So. And y'all both get compliments on your lips too. It may be verbal, sometimes just stares or whatever, but y'all have literally got compliments on y'all lips, so it should be significant to the read. Somebody could drive a black heel soul can be significant to this read. Telling you, child. 
Ooh, I set you up to be stranded on our last visit together. I'm telling you this, and when this happened, this person realized they fucked up. They felt bad. This mask fell off. <laughs> but this is the thing. When this person did this, you stopped feeling safe around them the minute this happened. And the reason why you stopped feeling safe around this person was because this was the moment that you was cutting this person off. This was the this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Because not only did this person set you up to be stranded, you felt like this was a setup. And little did this masculine know that this was the last time they was going to see you again. Anyway. They, they didn't know that this was the last time you, they was going to see you or talk to you again. And you was using this moment as a clarity I'm getting. You used this moment as a moment to decide whether you was going to stay or go with this person. After all this time. And they basically gave you the answer when they did this. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. I swear to God, this is not for all of you. This is for somebody in particular. This card right here is for somebody in particular. And if you last visited with somebody that you no longer talk to, see, want to hear from, all that, this could apply to you. But this is for somebody specific. Yep. This person is not somebody that apologizes easily. But they don't blame you for not, you know, they don't blame you for walking away, doing what you did, handling it the way you did, because it made it easier for this person not to feel like they needed to apologize. But this person do feel like they to blame. They do. They know they feel they feel they they feel bad for this. Yeah. And somebody want to know what is your birthday wishes? This person may be aware that you have a birthday coming up or have had a birthday or something. But they want to know what your birthday wishes are. This person could ask you that in person and you wouldn't tell them because you don't trust them. This person blocked, I'm telling you, energetically and uh, spiritually, physically, this person blocked. Telling you, this person saying, regardless of your new new, I want you back. She part of a group of haters and impersonators. They please I'm telling you, she wanted to be who she knew you were. To this masculine, but she was doing things and making him put you in situations and supporting it because she wanted him to believe that you was the enemy, you was the karmic, you was the person that you know was creating all this shit between them. When it really was all this backfired ass spell working, it was the towels they was getting it that she didn't want to tell this masculine they didn't want to accept. Y'all getting these towels because y'all did what y'all did to that feminine, and y'all. Masking came off, and now y'all see each other just for exactly who y'all are. And y'all are each other's enemies. Because y'all in a karmic cycle together, and this person followed you over here from a past life. This bra followed this masculine in a past life. So you and this masculine may have had a past life together that this feminine has something to do with, too. But this is her... This is her... Uh, thing here she got it she her, 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 she got a generational curse 
Her bloodline is cursed because of this. She known in the past, in past lives, she known for attacking divine unions by sleeping with these men, these divine masculines, and using um, sex magic and create, casting and creating illusions to um, intervene in these divine contracts. And her family has been cursed because of this. Her bloodline been cursed because of this. So she, you know, she, he getting towels after towel after towel when she is too. She gonna get them because she is constantly, relentlessly using divination and going in the spirit, going to the devil. The devil don't want to have nothing else to do with her. That's why the spell work is backfiring. The moon, don't, they tired of seeing out there the moons. The moon is looking the other way when she come out that door. They don't want to have nothing else to do with her. They just don't. The divine is turning the moon and everything else away from this broad. Because this is where she, you know, incarnates, you know, and comes into each lifetime doing. But this broad was a lesson to this master because he failed at this mission in a past life with her before. Because of her. <laughs> Telling you, so cleanse your energy, do your return to senders out here, but cleanse your energy collective, you know, for this lighting a candle, talking to your ancestors, you know, calling on Archangel Metatron, you know, to cleanse your energy. You know, they got things online where you can take, you know, spiritual baths or whatever to cleanse your energy. But um, Bobby can be significant to this read. This best when they may be waiting things out, you know, just for the storm to blow over. Because they feel like, you know, if they come towards you, you know, too fast, too swiftly after what, you know, done happened, that they're not going to get the the outcome that they want. You know, but they're waiting on you to get them the green light. You know, they feel like, you know, until then, this, you know, they look at it as a storm blowing over. You know, until they hear from you. So, that's all I got for you guys in this read. I will be back with another read, I promise. Okay? So, until then, you guys, hopefully this read helps you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And do something nice for someone today, even if you don't know them. And even if you don't love me, you know I love you. All right? So till next time, I love you. Bye.